Hey, what's up everyone? Corey Parks here again with HydroHip 91. Um, another question we get asked quite often, and it goes hand in hand with some other things that we'll discuss throughout our uh, YouTube series of videos, is why do I have bouncing floors? This is a question we get all asked often from customers. Um, and there's, again, just, just like anything else in the foundation repair business, there's not always one answer. Uh, it could be multiple things. Uh, it could be just one thing, but it ain't always the same thing. Could be multiple things. And we just want to discuss on why your floors may be bouncing or sagging. Um, here we have a makeshift picture of a house, foundation wall, foundation wall, and here's my attempt to draw a pier. Uh, and there would be a beam sitting on top of that that's supporting your house. So um, one of the reasons, the most common reason we see is, is simply that from this, this support here in the middle to this support, that span is, is too far. You know, for example, you may have two by eight floor, um, uh, floor framing under your house, but they may be trying to span 15 foot, 15 and a half foot, which is very common back in the 70s. And it may be causing some, some sag right here in the middle or some bounce, you know, down. Um, the other thing is, is that flooring system may not be designed for that big uh, oak dresser that you have there or gun safe or um, media uh, cabinet or something uh, that's putting a lot of weight right here in the middle of the wood where there's no supports such as your foundation wall or the columns. Um, so there's there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, and this, this sagging floor here may start causing some cracking drywall. So if you have tile flooring in this area, it could crack there, um, could feel real spongy. The other thing is it could be moisture damage, uh, moisture from the earth or water coming through the foundation wall, water coming up, um, could over time rot out your floor uh, due to moisture. Uh, could be the subfloor, could be the floor joist, could be the supports that are supporting the floor joists, such as a girder. Um, and it could be causing some issues with the structural integrity of your home. Uh, my suggestion would be to get a um, true, reputable foundation company out there. There's many in the greater Charlotte area. Uh, give one of them a call. They'd be more glad to come out. Um, most of them that I'm aware of provide free estimates um, and or, or free inspections. And if they find something, they should be able to give you an estimate there. Um, but ha you know, have a professional look at this. This is uh, again, this is something that um, if you ignore it, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to cost more money to fix it. So fix it right. Fix it the first time. Um, make sure whoever you're, uh, uh, whoever you have, do the fix. Make sure they're licensed, insured, qualified to do this job. Have plenty of Google reviews, um, stuff like that. You know, we we prefer to tell people to make sure that you're going with a business that's been in, uh, been in business over five years. Um, the reason for that is, is that the Small Business Association tells us that 60% of businesses are going to fail within the first five years. Um, so we, whoever does the fix, we want them to be around if in the future something goes wrong with um, their solution that they can come out and warranty and guarantee it. Um, if you have any questions about this, please reach out to us at 704-813-9554. We'd love to come out if you're having these issues or something similar to it. We'd love to come out and take a look at it. Um, see if you truly are having issues. And if you are, we can put together a uh, permanent solution to fix this. Um, you can also look us up on it, online at hydrohelp911.com. Check out our Facebook and smash that subscribe button down below to see more videos like this. Y'all have a good day.